hi to all uh, now we are going to see the solar panels sizings for uh, mother in locations uh, i believe a lot many people have uh, visited my youtube videos regarding the solar uh, which was published in uh, tamil language i hope now we are going to see a uh, lot many um, um, a um, lot many locations like how we are going to design the solar systems for particular uh, locations i am just taking the uh, one locations it's a uh, longitude and uh, longitude it will be 9.9 .9 and 78.11 it's located in madurai north mochi street uh, opposite krishnan kovil and madurai yeah Uh, I believe a lot many people have installed the solar panels uh, at your facility or home or uh, any other industrial or too. Probably you may not know like uh, how much uh, units you are getting from the panels. I hope uh, our video will help you a lot. So going forward. So here we have just uh, taken care of uh, you know it's a assumptions more. in the sense we have uh, taken you know basic floors which you are using in the residential and uh, when you design the solar you have to take in care a lot of uh, parameters uh, to be uh, taken into the account almost 50 to 60 characteristics has to be uh, worked out to do the solar panels installations at your facilities even for the selections okay it's purely depends upon the technical criteria when you would design the solar system so it's not always depends certain things okay um so uh, now we're going to see that i think uh, we have uh, consider as you like if you are going for uh, one residential homes as i said uh, the locations that's a land longitude and latitude locations 9.9 and the sound point 11 that's uh, located in north street mossy it's purely a uh, south faced yeah and um, so we have considered here 20 watts uh, led uh, lights so almost 8 uh, quantity it's running for the 8 hours and 100 watts uh, ceiling fans its quantity is four numbers is uh, running for the 10 hours per day and the led tv like it could be a 90 watts or 100 watts is one number and uh, it's running for almost 6 hours per day and we have taken the utilities like uh, router other stuff for which are using for the elect small electronics it could be 50 watts one numbers it's running for 8 hours so here we have to note down the system here i have not considered any load for the 24 hours operations 12 hour operations now you are going to see this big surprise how much panel is required for your locations for this locations particularly and i want to tell you one thing uh, this is not the common you know like if you uh, select a 1000 watts panel or 500 watts panel it's not be going to be the same for all the locations even if you go with the within district or the state it will be purely depends upon the locations and beyond that there are a lot many uh, engineering uh, design has to be taken into the account yeah uh, so that's uh, we are doing it here so when you do the solar uh, panel uh, as i said before lot many things has to be seen like you have to see the derating factor and dust de uh, and uh, variations aging factors and the cable sizings so here i am not going to tell you the cable sizings or any other conversions to the dc to ac etc that that could be totally different again you have to work out when you select the solar panels and once you selected that you have to work out on the efficiency and loss on the cablings and the uh, battery systems or inverters whatever the conversions on top of that you have to put a protections too lot, there are lot many protections is there and lot many types of control is there in the market okay so here uh, so i have said i said uh, like so these are the loads they have taken as a, as a assumption smooth uh, could be like uh, one residential any of the residential people at least they could use this uh so um, so now we could see here as according to this calculations so you required almost uh, 6.4 uh, uh, units required 
to do this kind of operations so you require like if you run these loads per day you need 6.4 units that's we call as kilowatt hour i mean watt hours like 6400 watt hours per day it's required so for that uh, you need to go with this panel like solar panels it's a uh, actually i have considered the polycrystalline not the monocrystalline okay that could be a bit little bit of efficiencies uh, could be there when comparing the mono poly will be little bit low yeah so here uh, it's taking almost uh, 1900 uh, wp panels required for to do these systems it's a polycrystalline panels yeah we have, here we have considered all the energy losses all the designs uh, designs uh, criteria like what are the stuff is required for the systems uh, if you want to do the backup to do the you know we want to store the energies to the backup uh, battery uh, again you have to work out for the batteries you have to consider the low batteries and um, charging set uh, DOD cycles etc to be taken into the cards whether you are going to be the lithium or the lead acid etc whatever it is so here for these systems you want to store this energy you may need to go with that uh, almost uh, 12 volt battery uh, batteries into uh, 12 pieces yeah so probably you can design with the 24 systems by putting a series parallel combinations to achieve this storage when you increase the autonomy is like number of days then you can increase the batteries like two days three days four days whatever it is you just have to increase the number of batteries like 12 24 and then 36 48 that's the formula okay so i believe a lot many i think many people have uh, uh, installed already probably we have concerns you put an email to us to like uh, how you want to like uh, you are not sure what, what you need you are exactly getting it uh, nobody is perfect in the world always the human make error in some cases okay? it's not like all the human give you know perfect readings of course we can we are here to help you uh, we have a lot of people so, I mean we have engineering teams who have more experience in the global projects almost a thousands of projects executed worldwide for the solar it's purely uh, we can say any of the locations so we ensure uh, we are giving the perfect reading here so it will help you a lot so um, I hope if you have any other comments probably you can put an email how you want to make the systems like uh, if you are planning for the autonomy also you have to be very careful to do the batteries because your battery shouldn't be go to shouldn't go with the dry ends otherwise the lifespan will decrease assume if you let this is tall tubular if uh, designed for five years to ten years if you are maintaining very good it will come up to seven or eight, eight, eight years or eight or up to ten also too if you are working very you know if you are uh, doing very deep or discharge and charge frequently and the lifespan will reduce for sure yeah and so i have said i have said only uh, the solar panel rating on top of that there will be sizing of the cables required and the efficiencies of inverters controllers type of protections lot many things has to be designed well and then you have to install so when you do the solar systems like um, uh, like you may have to see that whether you want to design the system for the two year or 20 25 years so the cost is purely depends upon the year how many years you want to be not the panel so beyond the panel lot many things are there yeah so if you are it was very strict with the costings of course you have to spend lot many monies within a two years three year four years if you are uh, designing well at the beginning stage then you don't have to care more only you have to concentrate on the electronic kit which is it's not a huge amount if you talk about the maintenance point of view okay i hope uh, uh, this video helped you a lot probably you can share to your friends circles and i uh, hope uh, probably in features probably a day two will be uh, publishing lot many videos for the locations all over the world yeah i'm just starting from the madurai since my native from the tamil nadu yeah thank you